My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today we're going to talk about coming up with app ideas. Now I've talked about this before. I have, I, I mean, I put out a lot of my own apps. Uh, some of them do really, really well. A lot of them don't. So I just want to put that out there. I am not an app ideas guy. I don't generate ideas all the time. I'll, I don't want to say that because a lot of times when people call me, they say, Eric, I'm more of an ideas man and I'm looking for a developer and they'll, they'll, they'll just rattle off all their ideas and it's just, you know, it, it can be overwhelming at times, right? So this, but this is one thing I hear all the time and because, because we have overpass, I talk to people with app ideas all the time, they'll call up and it's usually the same kind of thing. It's like, they'll say, I've been looking around and nobody's doing this or they, they come up with a completely unique idea or something they think is really unique. Sometimes, sometimes I've been able to go in and find that, that same app concept like within minutes on Google Play or on iTunes and they're like, I, I, I can't believe it, someone must have stolen my idea, right? Which is pretty funny, right? And then sometimes, so then when I show that to them, they go, oh, I can't do it now, you know, so whatever. And the thing that always gets me about that is like, I am in no, I, I hate people who, I hate copycats. And I talk about this all the time. You know, my apps have been copied by, by and I'm talking more about visual imagery, copying the brand and all that kind of stuff. But the concept, I mean, people comp, copy concepts all the time. You know, this is a, you know, the, we, we value the app idea too much where we think it has to be completely 100% unique. Now, one of the things I do when I try to think of new ideas or even when I'm talking with clients, it helps a lot with clients when they come to stuff, is just knowing the building blocks of everything you have to work with. I don't think it has to be totally unique, right? It just, when you look at all the things that we take for granted today, you know, Walmart, McDonald's, the iPad, I mean, you know, all the big brands, all the big companies, you know, they're not necessarily the innovators of those things. I mean, they're, they're innovators, well, incremental innovators, but they weren't the inventors of them. You know, Ray Kroc didn't invent the hamburger when he, st when he started McDonald's, when the McDonald's brothers started McDonald's. You know, Steve Jobs did not invent the MP3 player. Apple didn't invent the MP3 player. They didn't invent the computer. They didn't even invent the graphical I interface, I don't think. They, that was uh, Xerox, right? They didn't invent them, but they, 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 they found the market and they, they capitalized on it. Because this is one of the things, right? If you do something that's completely and totally new, you are not only building something that hasn't been built before, but you have to build a market that's not there before, right? As I think as developers, a lot of times we think it's the idea that matters. As normal people, they think it's the idea that matters, you know, because I hear app ideas all the time. I don't put as much credibility into the idea itself as I do with the person's capability of actually going out there and promoting it, of having the enthusiasm to make it work.